It's not something you might expect to hear from a conservative during a debate. I think over-the-counter oral by contraception should be available without a prescription. If you do those kinds of things, you will actually increase the access and, and reduce the barriers for having more options uh, for, for women for con contraception. I talked with a political expert who says other Republicans across the country are taking the same sort of bold stance as Senate candidate Tom Tillis on contraceptives. Catawba College Provost Michael Bitzer says this may be part of the plan to replace Obamacare. Maybe it's part of, you know, the, the repeal and replace. We're finally getting some replacement. It could also be an attempt to focus on women's issues and the gender gap that has become much more pronounced. But will this stance on contraceptives upset Tillis's core voters, conservative Republicans? There's going to be a lot of focus in terms of how his base reacts to this particular pronouncement. The North Carolina Right to Life says it does not take a stand on contraception issues. I also reached out to the North Carolina Family Policy Council and they did not comment. However, I did speak with a Republican who's a former Senate candidate and here's what he had to say about the issue. I do think there would be some that would be concerned about their uh, their daughters, uh, 13, 14, 15 years old, going and being able to buy birth control pills over the counter. Mark Harris says he wants to hear more about Tillis's stance. I reached out to the Tillis campaign, but I didn't hear back. What do you think about putting birth control over the counter, and do you think Tillis's stance will help or hurt him? Let me know on Facebook at Robin Kennedy, My Fox Carolinas.